Now, this is a another request I've had. Uh, was that could I tie a, a shrimp pattern or a, like a scud like pattern on a jig hook, uh, a small jig hook? Um, so basically, this is I'm going to give it a go. The hook I'm using is the this one here from Fully Mill. It's uh, the G Force or the, sorry, Jig Force in black nickel, uh, size 14. The beads are two and a half mil tungsten. This is the it's a nickel coloured one, uh, just to go with the grey or the shrimpy look. Now, it's you don't have a lot of space to work with, and the jig head sits obviously with the bead down. Uh, so you've got to try and tie it. It's a bit fiddly. So what I'm going to do, obviously wax the thread, to get me started. Give me plenty of grip. Now the thread I'm using, I'm just using a rusty dun, a grey or a rusty dun is ideal. Uh, so it's the colour of the fly. Now, first thing I'm going to do, so I'm just going to come down about halfway, come back up. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some legs in here to start with. These are the under, this is the underside of the uh, of the shrimp. So I'm going to use some grey partridge. This helps hide this, there's a space here you get. If you just lot of beads it disappears a bit, but I, I like to fill that space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie some legs in at this point. There's some short legs, round about the shank length, just in here, right up against it. And then I'm going to trim away the waste. And then we work towards the back of the hook. Now I'm coming down the bend of the hook so that the, I'm going to put in the legs so that they're coming out from here. So we're going back to the partridge, grab some more fibres, and then I'm just going to tie these with them obviously facing out, facing up, but the same length, shank length or so. And just get it spread them. It's going to quickly come up here to tie in the, the waist. And then we turn the hook upside down. Now, what I'm going to do is tie in. Now, you, this time of the year, or if you buy any electrical goods at all, you get the what they call the anti-static bags. These here. Now, I use. I've used this a lot in shrimp. I've used a lot in midge pupa, it's a great rib and it catches, you see it catches the light. So I've got, I've cut it off just using a Stanley blade uh, and it's about 3mm wide this and I've cut it into a point, you can see that, you can just see it there. So what I'm going to do is going to tie it in here which is going to be quite hard so what I like to do is just come in from my side, put the point in but take the thread up a wee bit. You may have to have two or three goes. Putting it into a point helps to taper it. What I'm trying to do here is oops, put it on top. It's going to go back there. It's just quite, it's, it's not easy, but you just take your time. You can see that I'm even struggling a wee bit just to get it to sit where I want. Once you've got it, got it basically caught in, you just wind up to the fibres. Just check you're on top by just bringing it forward. And then put it out of the way, in the way, to set it, set it back. Now, for my eyes, I'm going to be using this heavy nylon. This is 20 pound nylon, it's a clear nylon. Now, you could use a coloured nylon. It's a good aiming point if you want. I'm just going to stick to the clear. Now, I've got a pointed pair of tweezers. Just got a length. You're looking round about, and this, this fly, to get a decent eye. You're looking around about a centimetre of nylon either side. And what you want to do is just melt it into the side of the tweezers. It'll darken up a wee bit and you want it to darken up a wee bit. Um, if I want it to stay clear, I would come out a wee bit quicker. Because you want to be able to see the eye. And there we are, as you can see, it's got a wee bit of colour to it. I mean, you could colour it up as well. You could um, use a plant on pen or a, a marker pen or some sort. 
just to get a colour. I was looking for the black pen there. It's, so there's a sharpie, and you could just darken the end a wee bit. So keeping on the tweezers, it's easier to do this. And we just lightly mark it up. Then you could put a wee bit of varnish on it, and that would uh, seal it in, but that's fine. To catch in, I just keep it on the tweezers, it's easier to catch in. So I just basically offer it to the hook and then come round with a couple of turns just to catch the eye and then just bring it bring the eyes to where you want it to up against the static uh, covering or the back. Just, just move it a bit here. It's not easy, this is probably why I get asked to get a shrimp leg. So I'm just figuring through. Pushing it towards the back. I'm just going to build the thread up a wee bit. I say just see, looking at the shape. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. There we are. And the reason I'm doing it on the underside is because obviously when you're fishing the jig hook, the hook actually sits up, hence the, you can bounce it off the bottom. Now there's the bag it comes over, or the Static, it comes over as the back, so you just check at this point what it's like. Looks fine. Take it out of the way again. Now we need to rub the, the shrimp. I'm just going to use a silver wire, it's a small silver wire. Now, what I'm going to do is turn it up the right way and then just catch in the wire because I want it to come right up. Oops, get some fluff there. Towards the eyes, I'm just going to sort to catch in the the back. I need the the wire right up beside it. So now what we want to do is put in some dubbing. Now uh, recently did a video on blending your own dubbing, and this is a uh, the grey rabbit with the the diamond bright the, the hairs here you just mixed in. So I'm just going to lightly dub it on. Just lightly dub it on. Don't hard, you know, just enough just to get it around the thread and then from a distance what we do is we get a start just get an anchor point and we twist to there and this will help keep the guard hairs out not tighten them up too much now I'm just going to basically come round the eyes in this case just the ones, just on one side it's enough and then we just work our way up Take your time, it's a nice shape. Now I want it to taper towards the back uh, because it's going to, the, the jig egg, the, the eyes are going to be up. So this would be a good part in the larger sizes for, for like fishing for mullet or because the mullet like the old shrimps and the bigger patterns, even if you want to try it for the bone fish or so. So we'll get my thread back up. Now at this point you could bring out from the top down either side her legs or basically pull out some of the guard here. So give the impression of the legs of the shrimp. So then we bring her back over. Now I'm just gonna basically catch it a wee bit, it's quite a thick uh, it's going to give it a wee, wee stretch, just a wee stretch, but be careful you don't pull it out. Get some dubbing on the thread, take it away. Nice and tight, two or three turns. Now I'm just going to, you can trim this at this point, just try it straight across, but leave, I like to leave a wee bit, bit of mill or so. And then bring your wire, bring your wire up through. Now I like a turn at the back. And then I start the, ne the next turn is just be on my side of the eyes, behind the eyes. And then we just work our way up through. Ignore the dubbing at this point, just get your wire up nice and tight. Right up. Bend. Break away the wire. Jeez, there's no way to break. Show you a quick look, see how it's sitting. 
Now what we can do is just basically take a wee bit of dubbing instead of if you feel you need it, I think it does, just needs a wee bit. Just to tidy that area up. And then what I'm going to do is come in just this side of the, the legs we tied in. And then what I like, they could, what you could do is a wee bit of varnish or in this case this is super glue onto my thread. You do it quickly, and then you go one, two, three, and then flat finish. And then tie off, and that basically sticks it instantly. The legs, you can, basically what I like to do is just use my finger, pull it slightly back, you can see it sits a wee bit better just to get a shape. And there we are, and that's like a wee, the wee gamaris or shrimp pattern, wee scudged. You can see that's way it's going to sit in the water like that. So it's going to the legs out, the eyes. Quite hard to see it recently, but that's just you. You know when you see these in the water, the fish love shrimp. They're always there, right through the whole season. You can fish these any time. And uh, again, if you enjoy the videos, uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.